I think you should get a microphone. What do you think, doofus? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> This was fun. Holy this, friggin' crap. This, this was, was a awesome. lot of fun. I want to start off by saying check out our Facebook page because we're going to have some videos. <laughs> <laughs> I might post them on YouTube. I actually, I really should post them on YouTube because they're just fucking great. <laughs> Let's just get right into this. We played Sonar. Um, so this is the... It's the uh, it's child the ch- yeah, of the child. much larger Captain Sonar. Um this game is as soon as you pulled it out and you told me the premise i was already excited so this game is battleship a, on crack it's yeah it's only <laughs> 2 to 4 players on this version the the bigger version can Goes play up, to, up eight. to 8 um but it still plays out very much the same but instead of having a team with a captain Basically barking orders to everybody, or yeah, do like getting input from everybody. This is just it's you can either do this by yourself, or the way it should be played is teams of two. Teams of two. There aren't many team board games. At least I don't know many team board games, but there aren't many successful team board games either. Right. You know? uh, and this thing, holy crap! This was <laughs> so much fun. Uh, so yeah, like we said, it is. Oh, let's uh, first um, let's give props to the designers. Oh, yeah, Roberto Fraga and Johan Lemonnier. Lemonnier. Um, uh, you probably butchered. The not crap sure if out it's of that. if it's French. It's Lemonnier. That's right. So I don't know. Hmm. Either way, I apologize for him. Yes, I mean yes. That's that's it's right to do that. But this game uh, is very Paris. short. It's okay, French. so it's French. So this game is very short, coming in at a half hour um, playtime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this game is bananas. <laughs> first of all, for everybody out there who grew up with the classic board games like we did, if you like Battleship, this game is right up your alley. Yeah, this like go get so this game right awesome. now. Awesome, and it's not as ex- it's not expensive. It's, Listen to it's, this podcast in the car as you drive. To, get to go this get game. this game, <laughs> um, it's relatively cheap. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to run out and grab it myself because this was just so much fun. Yeah, it's at Aldi's for, for Americans out there. It's at Aldi's surplus outlet for like twelve dollars. I mean, seriously, you can't pass this up. No. So um, the whole I easily got twelve dollars of the fun in the past hour. Yeah, <laughs> easily. It was so cool. So this game is it's a very basic setup. You get teams of one to two. Preferably two, of course, since it's just the two of us, we only did one player for each team. But you get maps that are laminated, so you've got dry erase markers. Mm -hmm. And it's very much the same way that we played Sniper uh, Sniper Elite. But instead of one person gets to map out everything, both teams get to map out everything. In fact, all four players map out what's going on now yeah. you've got your captain and you have the radio your operator. radio operator so your radio operator is trying to find out where the other team is based on the orders that their captain is barking out so your orders are things like we're moving east or we're moving north and you can only move one space at a time now and so the radio operator has uh, to, uh, has their own copy of the map, and they're plus like, plus a transparent plate over top. Yeah, so you can put down genius, genius freaking amazing. So you put down a little X or circle whatever you want to do to to denote to denote where that person is, the team is, and then as you start getting more information, as you're listening to the other team, you're getting, oh, they can't be here because this is the edge of the map. Yeah. They can't be here because they're running into uh, an island. So they you're sliding that transparency around your map to see where these arrows that you're making fit. Fit, yes. All while your captain has their own map that they're marking out as to where they're going. We're headed, we're due north now. Okay, now we're due east. Mm-hmm. And they keep marking this until... 
you have enough energy to do <laughs> one of your actions. And your actions are very simple. You can use sonar, and your sonar is you get to ask what the, row the or team, what column yeah, what are What row or what column you're in. And then they have to tell you, I'm in row whatever. I'm in row mm-hmm. A or, or I'm in row, uh, one. row one in column B or something like that. But only one of those, either a column or a row. They don't yep. do both. Yep. Well, Sonar, what column are you in? J. <laughs> what? That's not totally possible. You had to have gone through an island. Nope. We're still in the archipelago, right? Oh, you son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Then you have to erase some of the energy that you saved up. Now you can only do certain moves again. Yeah. And you get energy by moving in your cardinal directions. No diagonal movement in this, cheaters. <laughs> I wonder if there's a variant. Like, we're going northeast. <laughs> 500 knots northeast. Everyone's going, Jesus Christ, that thing is fast. 500 knots. Holy shit. Oh, um, my. Mother of God. Mother of God. Um, <laughs> but it's, so, I mean, just the two of us. And that's we, it. We that's had the a blast. game. That's the whole game. That's the game. Now, the actions that you can take, like I said, are really simple. You can do sonar, uh, where you find out where the other person is, roughly. You get... Uh, silence, radio silence. Mm-hmm. So you go completely silent. You don't have to say where you're going, but that causes you to lose three energy. And then you have fire torpedo, which takes all your energy, and that's just like playing Battleship. You, f- I'm firing at you <laughs> at J five. You and missed. Y- you miss. <laughs> and I got to say that a lot. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's, it's just, it's so simple and it's so much fun. <laughs> there uh, are so many times where it's like, I'm moving West. What? What? No, 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 no. Th- you can't move West. That's all right. You can't. <laughs> there's, there's an Island there. No, I'm moving West. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's when you go, Oh no, we totally messed up where he is. <laughs> gotta move, gotta move the transparency around. <laughs> gotta see where he is. Oh my God. Uh, it's so much fun, guys. <laughs> oh, God, that's so cool. Oh, it's so great. Okay, so uh, <laughs> components. Components are simple, guys. Super duper simple. There's a there's a big quad fold screen, I think. Or? Yep, it's a quad fold screen. And so that so separates your team yep, from the others. Yep, that's your divider. So think of like in the battleship where you just flip the lid, this, you yep. just place this in front of or you. Or like a DM good. screen, yeah. you know, but it runs down the length of the table. So your right. team so you can't, can't see the other of, side. Oh, what's going on? Um, you get, uh, how many maps is it? F- uh, four, four double-sided maps. So like eight maps. I right. Uh, it would be eight maps altogether, but, but, uh, four maps. Uh, so you'd get two for each captain in each radio yeah. operator. Uh, and of course you have teams of blue and yellow. Um, and then you get your transparency. You only get and two transparencies. One dry erase team, markers with four dry really erase nice circles. erasers. Oh, them. yeah. They're fantastic. They work really well. I mean, and the nice thing about a game like this is your dry erase marker runs out. Guess what? You get a new one. Just go get a new dry <laughs> erase marker. Uh, and then you get the instruction book, which is like two pages front and back. <sighs> if that. Well, no. It's probably like four altogether. I guess, yeah. It's not that big. Um, and, of course, it, it goes through the rules step by step for you. Very simple, really easy to learn. If you don't want to read, go ahead online and f- just yeah. Take there's a look. So there's a guy. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can give him props here because he really helped with that. Oh yeah. Uh, Who did we look at? How to play sonar is what I typed in YouTube, and oh, really? Oh, okay. So it's Board Game Geek. It's the Board Game oh. Geek uh, YouTube page. Okay, as he drops his phone. That's cool. Yep, dropping your phone. So, uh, yeah, it was a really helpful video, and uh, we, you know, I mean, we... We based we, everything right Yeah, we right didn't need that. to look off the book, really. I, no. I wanted to look off the book for one thing, which was, do I need line of sight to shoot Dan? <laughs> and, and, uh, no, you don't need to be in line of sight, but you have to be in the same quadrant. Of course, your maps are broken up into four quadrants. Yep. Um, 
but you do have to be in the same quadrant. And that's it. That's the only your requirement. Enemy to fire. Yes. Uh, everything else is just educated guess yeah. and uh, fire. Now, what was really fun about this was, um, and I know you got it in the video, you son of a bitch. We were literally right on top of each other. <laughs> that Yeah, that I want to talk about more later in favorite moments. I hate you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so we recorded, uh, was it that game? That that game in its entirety. Yeah, we, we recorded that game in its entirety. So I'll put, I'll put some clips of it in, <laughs> in here. <laughs> Get so, to hear me laugh like an idiot even more. Um, <laughs> But, uh, so what works in this game? What's your, like, what's, uh, some, like, parts of it that are just really good? I just, I, I mean, what doesn't work, really? Uh, Let's is, focus on what doesn't work, anything? Okay, so it's so thought out, and it's a, it's, it's simple. It's such a simple game, simple yeah. mechanisms. Honestly, the only thing that I think doesn't work is just the, the the limitations of how many people you can have. Yeah. Um, of course, that that's a good thing, though, because if you do have more than two teams, now you're going to get overcrowded, especially mm-hmm. on these maps. Yeah. But at the same time, um, I think it would be more fun if you had up to three people on a team, maybe four mm-hmm. people per team. But again, that's something that you can do in the bigger version of the game, Captain, Captain Sonar. Sonar. Yeah. Um, so really, I can't really even fault that for this because this is just a smaller game for a smaller group of people. Yeah, I'm trying to think of an equivalent to it because I know it exists. Well, almost like Gloomhaven and Jaws of the Lion, where there's yeah, like you know like the, the, there's the big one and then there's the little one that does the same thing. You know, right, right. <sighs> Yeah, I know there are better... Catacombs is another one, too. Like, you can see back there. You haven't played it yet, but there's Catacombs back there. There's a smaller one that's called Catacombs and Castles, and it's a team-based one instead of one against many. Okay. Like that. So it's a smaller box. It's team-based. Um, so the, I, I would say that's a pretty good equivalency to uh, to that. Yeah, so I... I and and uh, we, learned, we learned through the Board Game Geek video that... Um, this was a Target exclusive. Um, exclusive. Yeah. Which makes sense because Ollie's gets a lot of Target games. And it also makes sense because Target does a lot of, like Gloomhaven um, mm-hmm. and Spirit Island, they get a lot of big games and make them smaller and more affordable for retail. Right. Uh, so once I heard that, like, it all just made so much sense. You know, like, I understood exactly why this game exists when there's already Captain Sonar right. and all that. Yeah, because when, when we when we saw the video, we were like, aww. <laughs> um, now I really want to try Captain Sonar. We just need more people. With lots of people. We need a lot table. of people for this. I um, might have to get that for my tabletop club because that would just uh, be fantastic. I, that's, I think, a game that we're going to have to play. Of course, it's going to be down the, the road a bit uh, after I get my gaming table yeah. slash dining table built. In the house that I'm renovating, I think that's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so, uh, I mean, yeah, like in terms of what worked, like everything, everything, there's not, there's nothing that I can complain about with this game. No, no. There's truly, one, truly, there is there one is. thing that I did miss rule wise that we, we didn't talk about because we didn't do it. Our, our game didn't go long enough, which is you cannot go back oh, on yourself. So yes, if you I did wanted to talk about if that. If you go in a circle so you make a box, you have to surface. Yeah, like the uh not centipede. What game is it? Snake. Snake. Like the old like the yeah. the game Snake where you cannot touch your tail, you right. know. And, th- and this is like you you can't cross over any part where you yeah. have already So you been. can resurface like Dan was saying. And so, but then you have to announce exactly, exactly where, you, where are. you are. Now, a good strategy for that is then to shut up and go silent if you yeah. have the energy. And or you just like duck into a, qua- a an adjacent quadrant if you think you're in the same quadrant with your enemy. Right. So they can't shoot you. <laughs> yeah, but then they still have a good beat on you. But it's always best to just go silent. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what's really cool about this. Even when you give yourself away, you still have that opportunity to turn the tables back again. Now, when we were playing, you turned the tables on me by completely going silent. 
I never did once. I really should have. Oh, and you screwed me over. <laughs> you dick. Um, but again, that's just that's just part of the strategy on this game, which is I can't find anything wrong with it. There's really nothing I can fault. Yeah, everything works. This game was just pure genius. Yeah, how about it? Like everything about this game is just so much fun. Now, what I really like about this is there are no small pieces. There are no like it's just a marker and some boards. That's it. Yeah, it's it's not even it, you know battleship is cool, but you always have those markers that you could lose. Or they'd get the stuck, pegs. the pegs, you know, the oh, little the ships. Pegs. Like this, you're just, literally, it's just marking and calling out things all mm-hmm. on the board. It's super simple. It's yep. so much fun. Of course, if you get really competitive, like we tend to do in a fun, silly, idiotic way, <laughs> then you're going to love every second of this. Yeah. And there's probably going to be a lot of cursing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had our little bit of cursing oh tonight. We we started the episode with one. <laughs> yes, yes, we did. Oh man, yeah. So I mean, this is a short review, but I mean, we're gonna be mixing in um, um, a whole bunch of like right. clips of us playing gameplay and, and everything. That. But yeah, this uh, this game. If you're listening to the podcast, check out the YouTube video videos maybe that we'll be posting of us playing um those listening to this on youtube just know that there's another youtube video that we'll be posting (laughs) um of us playing the game but yeah like this is a short video or it's it's gonna be a short review because it's it's a a short game game. uh let's just talk about favorite moments I well, have one that you already mentioned. Besides us being on top of each other. Yeah, literally, once I realized <laughs> where Dan was, he's like, all right, I'm going west. I'm like, oh, I'm going south. And then, like, because I knew at that moment I was on him. And so I would, all I had to do was just follow him for a couple moves until I could get my torpedo ready and then shoot you. him. And so he's like, you. I'm going south. I'm going south. And he's like, what? Going south. <laughs> Going south. <laughs> going west. <laughs> this can't be possible. <laughs> if where if where you if you are where I think you are, this is ridiculous. <laughs> going west, son of a bitch. <laughs> um, dropping south. <laughs> I, 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 as soon as he did that, I was like, oh, that son of a bitch. He's on top of me. Of course, I'm not going to say it because I, like, does, does he know? He probably knows. And then I was like, he's right on top of me. And then you, I'm firing the torpedo. You son of a bitch. You're right on top of me. And I, I was just like in, in tears because he knew I knew that I was on top of him. What gave it away? Was it the fact that I looked up at the ceiling going, son of a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Going north. Firing torpedo. At? C5. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Firing torpedo <laughs> at... <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! We were literally on top of each other! <laughs> <laughs> this game is so much better than Battleship! <laughs> I can't. I've got tears. <laughs> oh god! See, my favorite moment in this game is something that happens quite frequently in the in the first, the couple, early stage, couple of, of the rounds game. where you're playing and you go, "I'm I'm uh, up uh, headed east now," and you go. What? what? No. No, no, no you no. can't do that. No, no that's no, not no, the no. right spot. You can't do that. You're you're going into this. You can't do damn it, that's not the right spot. Okay. Okay. I don't know. You know what? What? You know what? What? You gotta use a sonar. You ass. Two bits of energy there. And I wanna know what row you're in. What row? I'm in row seven. Fuck what? <laughs> Alright, all right. <laughs> Bro, set so uh oh oh like that maybe I don't know <laughs> I, I did get to bully Dan a couple times I hate too. You. 
Dan, you look at an island right now. <laughs> I, I cannot. I cannot disclose where we are. <laughs> then Dan says, "Well, I'm going north." Hmm. Because hmm, you were looking going, at an island, weren't you? Wonder why you're not going west anymore, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> uh, we we I really want to play this with uh, two more people, just so yeah. we can have that whole teamwork going on because this was fun. <laughs> uh, this was so much fun. I want to know how that affects the dynamics of the gameplay. So know? do I. Um, just to have an extra voice in there in your ear, try, like second guessing your judgment and everything. <laughs> saying, uh, Captain, I don't believe that. Shut up. <laughs> Just do what I tell God, you. Captain, are you sure that they're over there? They could be up here. Like, no. No. Oh, crap. Maybe they could. <laughs> <laughs> do north. Do north. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's it, it's cool, guys. I can't stress how fun this game is and how yeah. simple it is. If, if you like to do simple, tiny games that you can, like, bang out in, like, a half an hour, 20 minutes to a half hour, just to kill a little bit of time. Yeah. Get this game. Yeah, definitely. I I cannot recommend this enough. This is so much fun. It like I said before, it, it reminds me so much of of Battleship, but not as complicated. So much fun. Just <laughs> not as complicated as Battleship, which is a hard feat to accomplish. Battleship's pretty Battleship's simple. Battleship's really simple, but you know, and and it's of course you're not dealing with multiple ships in that. You're you, it's, it's your just one. Yeah. It's a sub hunt. That's it. Yeah, it's a game of cat and mouse, and it's it's, it's like it's elegant. You know, like it's it just is. A, it's a perfect game. There's nothing really to nitpick or no. complain about. It's just. It's everything it needs to be at the right size. Like if the yep. map was any larger, it would probably be a bore. Oh, you definitely. Know? If it was a, any smaller, it would be over too quickly. Like so, the, right. the map size is perfect. The rules are perfect. It's all yes, so well designed. So a lot of games that we end up playing that say they're for more people, we always end up playing just the two of us, mm-hmm. and almost always we can make it if we try. Jesus Christ. Superstar. Give me my bourbon. (laughs) I can't I can't take you right now. Where? Anywhere. Oh. Okay. So So anyways, it's usually just two of us is what you're saying. Right. It's usually just two of us and games could we always have fun with them, but they're either they're either not as complex as they could be or they're 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 too short. Or yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one was perfect. Mm-hmm. Absolutely There's perfect. nothing I would change in it. I kind of want to play another one after we finish this. <laughs> <laughs> um, God, this is a really short... It's yeah. probably the shortest we've ever had. 23 minutes. This I mean, it's going short. to be longer when we cut in stuff, too. Right, but uh, of us talking, this is probably the shortest we've oh, ever yeah. done. Oh, yeah. But again, this is gonna be. We can't recommend this anymore. Uh, like, no, I can't uh, without sounding like a broken record, which we already do. Now, for those of you who don't have an Ollie's nearby, um, but uh, still live in the U.S., let's see how much this is on Amazon right now, as of March twenty fourth. Yep, twenty twenty fourth. Twenty five bucks. Still not bad. How about Captain Sonar? How much is that one? Riveting. Captain Sonar is not on here at all. What? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Captain Sonar I have found on Amazon for $74.90. Dear Lord. Now, here's another Captain Sonar from BoardGameGeek.com. Yep, okay. Uh, Miniature Market has it for 44 they're really good. Yeah? Yeah. I'm what are they posting awesome. this for here? They're posting this for, I don't know. It's not giving me <laughs> a price. Yeah. Okay, oh. here we go. Suggested retail is $89. Amazon is seventy four ninety, And there are still, as of now, 11 listings on eBay for $50. Yeah. Miniature market, regular price, $55. they are selling it for 44 right now. I mean... If you want the bigger version of it, 
So they have the captain and the radio operator, the two that come in sonar. Yep. Then there's the engineer. You have to help the captain make the right decisions to avoid breakdowns and damage. Ooh. Make the right choices to maintain the integrity of the submarine. Then there's the first mate. You're in charge of filing the ga- filling the gauges of the submarine systems, the weapons, detection systems, and stealth function. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, we have to find this version and play it because this sounds too much fun. Yeah. This, this, I think, would be a great um, substitute for D&D one of these nights. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just play with a group like that. Yep. So, uh, I think that about wraps it up. That, right? What, what I more mean, can we say except you guys... This game is fun. This game is the purest definition of fun that we've had in a while. Oh, yeah. In a good long while. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, uh, that was it. Uh, Enjoy. Uh, Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next time. See you later, guys. Mm